I'm gonna try and turn my home oven into a smoker, and I'm not stopping until I've smoked a brisket indoors. You see, I love barbecue, brisket, pulled pork, you name it, I love it. I also love cold smoked mozzarella, cheddar, even salmon, but I live in an apartment with no outdoor space, so I can't just buy a smoker. But for the past few weeks, I've been eyeing up my oven. Do you really think your subscribers want this? you got this vent thing that basically makes you built to be a smoker. I think I can use that to make a smoker that works great, isn't expensive, and doesn't burn my apartment to the ground. So after quickly cleaning my oven, turns out this was not quick, it took four hours, it's time to get to work. You can't make a smoker without smoke. To make matters more difficult, I want to smoke brisket, but I also want to cold smoke salmon. So the oven can't be the only heat source. Time for a build montage. Here's how this thing works. Wood chunks go into this cast iron pan. This hot plate heats up the pan to burn the wood chunks, creating smoke. The lid captures that smoke and sends it through this high temp silicon tube and directs it up into the oven. All of that sits in the drawer below. And that's a smoker. But we're inside. So I've got to figure out some way to handle all this smoke. Unfortunately, I can't just send it out the window because it will come right back inside and fill up my neighbor's apartments and they already don't like me. So I'm gonna build a filter system. By the way, most of the stuff I use to build this will be linked in the description below. To build my smoke filter, I'm using standard furnace filters and this cardboard box. I ripped off all this exterior cardboard before realizing that step was completely unnecessary. Next, I measured out and cut up pieces of the filter the same size as the box. Then I stuffed as many as I could comfortably fit into the box. I was able to get about 10 pieces in there. Seal up those seams with duct tape to prevent leaks. And cut out some holes in the end to allow smoke and air to flow through. I don't care if this thing is pretty. If it works, I'll have to replace this entire filter regularly. This build works because my oven, and many like it, vent out a pipe in the top. All I need to do is put another piece of silicon tube on that pipe and route that into my filter. On the other end, I'll use a fan to draw smoke through the filter. I just need some way to connect it. And for that, I'm using a trash bag. More duct tape will do the trick to seal everything up. It looks like, well, it looks like trash. But I think this will work to keep air flowing continuously through the entire system. Hopefully, this will prevent it from leaking. And with that, it's time to see if it works. Of course, we value safety here. It works. Maybe too well. I've got smoke everywhere. I'm gonna try to seal up the pan with aluminum foil. Nope, doesn't work at all. Maybe some weights will keep things sealed. Good enough for now. All right, let's cold smoke some cheese. After three hours in the smoker, I've got some issues. My entire apartment reeks of smoke. My roommate is pissed, and I'm not sure if this is gonna work. But we'll get to that later, because I've also got smoked cheese. Let's make grilled cheese and see if this is worth continuing. Sourdough bread, chipotle mayo on the outside, and my smoked cheddar and mozzarella on the inside. Grill that up and not melted. Let's try again. There we go. Much better that time. And oh yeah, that's good. The show must go on. I'm gonna smoke a brisket and a chicken, and just maybe, I'm gonna cold smoke some salmon. To get my brisket ready for the smoker, I'm removing the fatty ends. I'm also trimming off all but a quarter inch of the fat cap. I'll spice this up simply. Just brush with mustard, then season generously with salt and pepper. That's it. The rest of the flavor will come from the smoke. For the chicken, I'm gonna butterfly or spatchcock it to increase the surface area, and therefore the smokiness. It also helps the bird cook more quickly and evenly. Cut out the backbone with kitchen shears and remove the wishbone with a sharp knife. Removing the wishbone makes it much easier to slice after it's smoked. Press down hard to flatten it out. Another simple seasoning of salt and pepper and this bird is ready to cook. 
To appease my roommate, I've got to make some improvements to the smoker before we turn it back on. I've got a couple ideas. First, a lot of smoke was leaking out of the seam between the cast iron pan and lid. I got this high temp silicone gasket maker to seal the gap. Apply a thin bead all the way around the lid and press it onto the pan. Immediately remove the lid or just skip that press it on part. I messed this up. It will seal the two parts together if you're not careful. I'm also sealing off the smoke outlet. This was leaking just a little bit on my last test. Next, my filter smells terrible. I'm definitely losing smoke straight through the cardboard sides. To fix that, I'm just gonna layer on some duct tape. Easy. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm leaving the brisket in here overnight. I'll be back in about 10 hours to see how it's doing. Good morning and more issues. Here's the biggest one. I put a water pan in the oven with the brisket to keep things moist and doing that inadvertently turned my filter into a condenser. Water is coming out the vent pipe, condensing in my filter, and now it's everywhere. But no matter, this meat is done. The chicken has been in there for three hours, so it's time to take it out and rest. The brisket has been in for a whopping 14 hours. Final temperature is 203. After a 10 minute rest, let's slice up that chicken and give it a try. This chicken is delicious. Juicy, tender, and slightly smoky. The skin could be more crisp, so I'll finish it with higher heat next time. But aside from that, this can't really be beat. Cooking a chicken isn't that hard though. Brisket on the other hand, that's a true challenge. After an hour, the temperature is down to around 150, and that means it's the moment of truth. Let's be honest, it's a little dry. There's a hint of a smoke ring, but this isn't winning any competitions but the flavor and texture is there. And I don't think I've ever been this full in my life. I smoked cheese, I smoked chicken, I smoked brisket, and it was delicious. But would I recommend you try this in your oven? Well, I never did smoke that fish. And that's because my girlfriend said, no more smoker. My entire apartment reeks of smoke, though that does clear up in a day or so. It worked, it worked great. And I had a great time doing it, but I'm not sure I'd recommend you try this in your kitchen.